Hey everyone, welcome to the Asana Secrets interview series where I interview marketers and other agency owners to help show you how you can use Asana for your business. My name is Alex with Systems Refined and today's guest I have Kyle Johnson who is the owner of Blackwood Creative which is a marketing agency in Mishawaka, Indiana. Kyle, thanks for um, allowing me to interview you today. Uh, could you, you start off first by telling me a little bit about yourself and uh, your business? Yeah, so um, I've been in marketing for about a decade now and uh, I've actually just working on my second agency, kind of a long story there, but also in the uh, print world. Um, so um, we've got a lot of uh, clients that we work with and they're on, uh, I guess, a, a bigger, like a higher end monthly kind of do everything for them kind of set up. So it's, it works well for us, but um, it just means we get a lot of varying tasks of like either big big tasks or just little okay can you knock this out for us real quick so um that's kind of uh that's kind of us in a nutshell so obviously you just said that you get a whole bunch of tasks um before you started using asana did you um use anything else before uh to track all these tasks and projects yeah uh the reminders app on my phone the reminders. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was rough. Um, you know, we had, I had like a little, uh, had a section for each client, but it got out of control really fast. So, and, and it was easily easy to forget different tasks that we had. So, okay. So at what point did you actually start looking for other options? Um, so it was probably when we brought on, um, a, a new employee and it was just something like, how am I going to get information to them to like assign a task to them besides just you know in slack like hey i need you to do this um and and so we need we were looking for something and we had used uh, let's see we used like base camp back in the day um and that was okay uh but it didn't really fit what we were looking for because we had like ongoing stuff and base camp felt more of like a, a singular project setup um so we were looking for a, just a task management, a robust task management tool um, that we could organize by client, so. Okay, how did you learn about Asana? That's a really good question. Um, I think I hit up a couple creatives um, that I knew and just said, hey, what are you using for task management? And a bunch of them said Asana, and then I think the other one was Trello. So those two were the, the two that came up the most. And when you uh, first learned about it, did you start using it right away? Or were, were you like a little bit hesitant to use it uh, because you were, there was other options available or did you just go right for it? Um, I, think, I think I opened up um, an account for both Asana and Trello and just kind of played with them, um, not inviting anybody, just kind of messed with them for probably a day or two, just seeing like looking at the at the options, the tools and that kind of thing. So, um, but it pretty it came pretty quickly to me that Asana was going to be a better fit for us just because it just seemed, uh, I don't know, more user friendly for what we were looking for, for the specific tasks. And we actually do use Trello on a different level, um, for something else, kind of just a little bit here and there. But, uh, for the most part, I mean, I would say 99% of our time is spent in Asana as far as task management goes. Now, I know a lot of people, when they first see it, they get um, a little overwhelmed. Um, what were some of the issues that you first encountered when you started using Asana? Um, I think it was just kind of setting up the project was the initial thing. Like, how do, I, how do I set this up? Should it be just a big, long task list? Or should I use boards or, um, or you know, different things like that? Or should, should a task be a project and then I use subtask? You know, just different questions that I had like that. Um, it came pretty quick though, I think for us to figure out that we would, um, we would just create different clients and then within them have, um, the different, I guess, task lists. So we would have stuff like graphic design work, web work, different things like that. And, and then just put tasks underneath each of those categories. So. So you've been using um, Asana for your business um, for how long? Um, it's probably like two and a half, maybe three years. Okay. Like and uh, how much would you say it has impacted uh, you and your business? Oh, it's 
it's been a lifesaver. I mean, honestly, just being able to, cause I'm, I'm super busy and, and I'll get an email or a text or something. Somebody says, Hey, can you do this for me? And I can just pop it in, you know, pull up my phone, make a task, assign it to a team member and it's gone. It's out, out of my mind. Like I don't have to think about it anymore. So, or even if it's assigned to me, I can just know like, okay, I'll get to that in two or three days. I assigned it for myself for on Thursday and each day as I, I mean, literally every day I have on the second screen, just my Asana open with my tasks that I have for, for the week. So um, yeah, it's been, it's helped us stay super organized, which is something we really need when we're working with our clients on a, on a regular basis, just constantly asking for different things here and there um, for us to be able to keep track of all of it. It's just a, it's a sheer volume game. So that's super helpful. So how do you, how do you actually, use Asana on a daily basis? Is it just having that screen open or do you have notifications uh, pop up on your phone, uh, the email? Um, how, how do you use it? Uh, email gets pretty messy for me, so I turn those off. Um, but I do allow like mobile notifications, which is helpful, um, especially like, you know, if a team member completes a task that I'm, that I'm watching or following along. I want to know when it's done so I can let the client know or I can do the task that I need to do after they finish it. Um, and generally it's just for, for me, I just, I've always got my eyes on it. So I, I don't necessarily need the notifications, but it's nice that they're there. Um, if I do need them. Right. Yep. I'm the exact same way. I actually always have mine open. It's actually open right now. Um, and I do the mobile notifications, but the email, I think once you have too many projects, too many tasks, that's just a good way to kind of transition into using Asana so that way you get familiar with using it. But yeah, I don't even use the emails anymore. Right. Um, so um, I think this is the, uh, the important question is, uh, would you mind sharing a client project and explain a little bit about how you use it? Um, yeah, I can absolutely do that. So this is just, I, I live here under my tasks. Um, and then uh, we have teams over here with our projects that we're working on. Um, so let's, let's look at uh, Horizons, one of our bigger clients. So like I said, we have um, the different uh, categories here that are you know, just general marketing, video work, web work, design work, photography, um, you know, different things that we have in here. This one actually is specific for an event that we just finished up. So it's, it was jam packed with stuff and it feels good to have it empty right now. So, um, so this is just general, you know, I mean, it's, this is pretty straightforward of how we use it. I and mean, we've got the tasks here, for example, this one, um, a video that we have to do, uh, like I said, this, we have some, some stuff that we share out there, but, um, it's assigned to a task member. Um, this one's running late. That's because of the client, but, um, and then we, we utilize subtasks often. This one doesn't have any. I'm not sure if I have any that are showing a subtask right now, but we use that quite often that we're able to assign it to the subtasks to other um, team members, which is really, really nice. Um, and then the other thing we use quite a bit is our harvest time tracking integration, um, which is great because the client can, or, you know, the team member can just pop up this task, hit that, start recording their time, keeps track of it and turn it off. It's really integrated, makes things really smooth. So, cause we're just basically billing based on time for most, for the most part. So, um, this is, uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We'll have the occasional task that will be assigned to different, um, to different clients. That'll be a, a mirrored task, uh, which is, that's nice that it, that we can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, and then uh, I guess that's, I mean, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I mean, it's, again, it's, it's a lifesaver for us to not have these things just kind of floating out there wondering if somebody's got it written down somewhere, we know where it is. And, and then the other thing that, that I really enjoy is that my team can come to me and say, Hey, I saw you had these couple tasks on your task list. They've been sitting there. I think I can knock them out for you. Is that okay? Um, and that's really great because they just reassign it to themselves and then we go from there. So perfect. Cool. 
All right. Yeah, I, re- I appreciate you um, showing us uh, how you actually use Asana uh, for your clients and yourself and your business. If anyone is interested in contacting you, how would they be able to reach you? Um, a variety of ways. It just depends on, I guess, what they're wanting. Um, the, the, the easiest way is just hit me up in the email, which is kyle at blackwoodcreative.com. Um, and probably another way is the DM on Instagram. So Perfect. Um, again, thanks for uh, allowing me to interview you and sharing your Asana story with everyone. Um, I hope you guys find this video valuable and I hope you guys have a productive day.